Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Children of Eden Edition. We've got Adam and Eve. Eve currently uh, just asleep. Apparently uh, the uh, pregnancy tests in RimWorld are really invasive, and uh, she actually got anesthetized for that, so she's sleeping that off. Adam's cooking. Um, got got some tips here again. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead. We'll put a refrigerator in the, uh, the kitchen, and we'll put finished meals in there, and also a, a reminder to put a little vegetable storage spot right next to the uh, the cooker here so that in the future when things get hauled over it should save a little bit of time for adam's cooking adam's been doing much better with the cooking just have i think by having the auto doors is saving him so much time running back and forth here because we've got 60 ish cooked meals that may include some coffee or tea we've got some right over there but overall not too bad newton helping out with some of the cooking as well wait aren't you on research Sorry, it's been a few days. We're mostly catch, caught up with the comments. We're still one episode off, but... Oh, I did turn on cooking right to help catch up. That's right, I turned it on for a bunch of people here. <clears throat> That's probably one of the other things that making Adam go a little bit better. Adam's got Shoot Frenzy, which I guess is okay. I don't think it's that, you know, useful or important right now. Oh, we got a Muffalo that's going to be slaughtered because we do have the... It must be a male Muffalo. Yeah, because we have the limit on that set fairly low. Because we're mostly interested in the female ones to make more babies and also do you do the milking of the muffalo here. So we'll do that for meat. I mean, we could keep more muffalo around in general so that we could shear them and get more wool, but I think it's going to be fine. Advanced mechanoid ship. Oh, this is from us uh, ripping apart a mechanoid here. And yeah, we'll be able to do some things later on with them, apparently. Still got the taming on for the muffalo, which is good. Training up the animal skill. Um, I mean, it's not... I'm going to quick haul this in. I mean, it's not like the silver anything is going to happen to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The important thing with the skilling up was um, was to get someone up to at least an 8 in animal handling so that we could train Oliver, which we have done. Maybe, you know, taming rando mufflows out in the wilderness isn't quite as important anymore. Now that we've got sort of our, you know, initial little breeding setup, if anything, um, we, we'd want to tame maybe some more female mufflows. That's a possibility too, but I don't know. This is okay. It's still a good way to train up the animal skill. Why the heck not? Uh, and then we'll just butcher them. I mean, you know, we'd save if things would be a little faster if we just hunted them. But the animal training skill is not bad. Who knows what kind of stuff we might be able to train later on. Um, and remind me, did we get a puppy at some point? Yeah, we got Otis over here. Excellent. Now, he's got a master set. Is that, are you actually bonded? No. So, I'm going to set you to none. We still have all of our finding, following Rebecca, but you know. Training, you've got... Okay, you don't have the rest of your hauling, so you're currently still limited to the barn zone. That's right, but we want to train you up so that you can do the hauling. If you can do the um, the rescuing, that's okay too, but the hauling. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll probably open you up to the entire map, even if it means you snack on some of our meals from time to time. Hardly the end of the world. If you're a hauler and you're contributing to the colony, in my opinion, you can eat a meal. So we're grinding down a few things over here. I mean, I could put another storage spot just for, like, wheat or whatever, because I, I set this to vegetables, but I did turn off barley and, and wheat at the very least. Um, but that'll be okay. Corn over here. You're working on some porridge. So a few poopo cooking. I could put um, limitations. I don't think I can do it on the stove entirely, but for individual jobs to ensure that people have a certain amount of skill for it. But uh, we'll just leave it on for now. I do like the fact that... Um, the various bulk things are being used, and Adam's even doing some brewing at this point. I mean, I could have forced him to do it ages ago, but this is going to be okay. Now, putting the uh, brewing material in here, I believe, is a hauling job. This is a little bit deceptive. I don't think a high-level brewing does this. I might be wrong about that. Prioritize filling. No, I think filling is actually a hauling sub-job. So only when people get around to hauling will we do it. But that's not the end of the world if we delay this a little kind of okay. I mean, I could just do some forcing, that's alright too, but I think it's also a hauling job to empty it. So unless we have someone on super high priority for hauling, it might just sit there and you might even rot out at some point. There's one, and, and I might go and reinstall the mod where I can, pause, um, expand out these sub jobs so that I can put a number one priority on things like just filling and emptying the fermentation barrels. We're going to attack from a siege. This is our very first siege here. They're going to try to... Oh my god, they have a tame mechanoid. Uh, they're gonna try to set up a base and just bombard with mortars. I don't think we really want to give them a chance to get that properly set up. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll do a little uh, gear and go command. We'll get everyone near the front. I suspect everyone's mostly got what they what they need. 
but we'll give them the command this way. Yeah, I think they, uh, I don't think they recruit until they have their stuff. So yeah, everyone's got the stuff they're supposed to have, which is good. Eve is actually, you can shoot them from this far away, Eve? Holy cow! Okay, I didn't realize we'd be able to, like, de-siege them. You're firing too, I bet you, you can't. No, you can as well. Uh, unexpected. So we're gonna have cover. They haven't even beat their, built their, um, usually they build um, uh, sandbag walls and things like that. They're using some stone some stone as cover, but holy crap, this is amazing. Maybe I should ha make sure I have a few more outposts in like random locations like this uh, already set up. So that's random handy. Yeah, you can even fire from there. Excellent. Eve. Oh, are you out of ammo? You are out of ammo, and I bet you we don't have any more of that either. Um, assignment. Eve over here. I'm going to change you back to the rifle job. Eve, I'm going to de-recruit you. I'm going to say gear and go over here. So you'll actually go and get your equipment and then come back. <clears throat> Excellent. Oh my god, these people are being destroyed at range. This is wonderful. I've never had... So I think it feels like Combat Extended um, actually increased the fire range in a lot of things. And I think because of the ballistic model and things like that, like... It's not necessarily more powerful, and of course it's going to work for both sides, right? They're going to have the extra range as well, but this is working out supremely well for us at this time. Uh, all right, Eve, you're going to do this. Now, Nana, did you run out of bullets for your gun as well? Now, we do craft that ammo. Yeah. If I tell you to um, gear and go there, Nana, yeah, you're going to go and get more bullets. Awesome. Beautiful. We may have to tell you to, to hold on to more with your um, your machine gun, so because that's, that's exactly what's going on, right? Um... Nana, DP Gladius, um, 100 ammo is clearly does not last very long. We'll tell you to carry like 300, something like that. Still trying to shoot these guys. We're taking a lot of hits on the uh, Scyther here, who unfortunately isn't going to bleed to death. But oh, there we go, finally. Oh, I thought you'd drop down. Never mind. But they'll move in and out of range, which is good. Yeah, if we can hit these guys so they can start bleeding, that's good. We've got... Um, Nana, we can swap you probably back to this gun here. You'll reload. And you can fire from there. All right, do it then. <laughs> Oliver opening and closing the door. I don't know if that's exactly what you want to do. What? Oh, the door's actually been destroyed. The pirates are fleeing. Yeah, I guess... I th see, I thought they'd added... Oh, we'll build an auto door. Um, oh, we don't have components. Never mind, build a regular door. Um, I thought they'd added it in the base game, the rebuilding of things when it gets destroyed, but I guess not. Is the robot running away too? Just taking an odd path for it? I don't know if I want to leave cover. Alright. Uh, He's down. Okay. And unrecruit everyone. That's for one. Next, I will also unforbid everything that's out there. Now, it's Binny here. Five hours, no missing body parts. Okay, not bad. Um, let's send out uh, Giggles. We'll just do a quick little stabilize and capture. Yeah. A little bit of that. I think he's the only one who's wiggling. Excellent. And we will high priority haul the good guns there and some of this ammo as well. Oh, and this here too. Because once it's in our... The the mechanoid carcass get dragged out already? I guess so. Um, once it's in our uh, stockpile, people can equip it and various things like that. So I think we still have graves. And we only have the one. Do I want to keep extending this graveyard? Maybe we'll just build a cremation thing at this point. You know what? Let's do it. Because I think... Um, no, it's, I think it's under... Is it miscellaneous or production? I think it might be production. Oh, yeah, the intravenous drips. Need a lot of medicine to set that up, but wow. Um, production. Pretty sure we have it. Just gotta use my old man eyes to... Pause a sec. What's that? Prosthesis trader. Oh, there. Right over here, the... Crematorium. So it's a trade ship prosthesis. You know what? This prisoner over here... Sorry, wood, right here. You're missing a leg, aren't you? If I recall correctly. Yeah, your right leg is destroyed. We are trying to recruit you. And otherwise, you're... I mean, ugly, but iron-willed. Trigger-happy's fine. It's gonna be okay. Itney. 
Um, right, misogynist sucks, but the rest of it's kind of okay. You are technically recruitable, so we'll go ahead and set that up. All right, Eve, come over here. Let's um, let's call the prosthesis trader. Let's see if we can get a leg. We can just buy a peg leg. We can just make that ourselves too. You know what? Maybe I'll uh, I will go ahead and do that. Save a little bit of time, and then wood. Right leg is destroyed, so we are going to install peg leg on the right. I know it's not a very interesting prosthesis, but it'll have to do. Black's Rage Weapon. Right, well, you're going to swap to that, which does have ammo, which is good. All right, lovely. So, yeah, I don't think we can make the charge rifle ammo yet. Uh, I don't know if this is at the station that we'll be doing it. I think it's just called charge, but I think we need tech for it, so... We'll be waiting on that. Power's good. Real veggies there. A little bit of a build job there. That's going to get hauled in. Not too concerned about the other pistol. Uh, da, 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 da. We don't have any hunting assigned. We do have some meat, though, because we keep grabbing muffalo in here. Um, do I still have the taming automatic job for alpacas? I think I do. Oh, right, and the boomalopes as well. Auto-tame... Auto tame, yeah. So we just haven't seen them in a while. Wildlife wise, two grizzly bears, a cougar, a wolf, and an armor leper. Wow. That's um that's a lot of potential hostiles. Hmm. Yeah, we may want to do something about that about that. One patient waiting for um operation. I think Giggles will do it. Micro is just feeding. I think Giggles is our best doctor, and I think I don't know I think I've got the advanced um uh I don't know doctoring thing or whatever where it makes sure surgery is being done by the person with the highest skill by default i mean i can force it of course but yeah that'll be giggles we'll see what happens after he eats his kebab he's gonna take a bandage kit uh-huh um yeah you can use regular medicine it's fine drinking a coffee all right you're gonna have a little shaky hands but other than that you'll be very awake your recreation's pretty low. I was gonna say, it wouldn't surprise me if you queued up a recreation job. But presumably... I cannot finish off. Wait, did you already get the operation? Oh, shit! Alright. Completely missed it! Uh, wait, what's unroofed? Is it just over here? Oh, I saw like a... Oh, right over here! Okay. I just noticed in my uh, my tooltip over here, it said something about unroofed. I'm like, where is that area? I want to just make sure that everything was okay. Yeah. All right, just our farming area. That's fine. Still have the bodies outside. A group of travelers are passing by. And Torkin. Body pure. Good planting skill. Body purist could eventually get you pretty salty at us, though. Creep your breathing, open-minded. Fast walker, good skills. No health problems. Oh, you're... We can't... You're not actually a visitor. We can't go and uh, recruit you guys. All right, never mind then. Prosthesis tracer, ha, trader has left. Resistance is dropping by quite a bit. Eve, what's your social skill at? 10? It's not bad. Are you in a really good mood? Hey, you're in a pretty good mood. Spacious interior, slightly impressive barracks. You're unhappy because you're naked. Probably because we stripped you before. No, we didn't, because you do have a thing. You still have some stuff. I don't think we stripped you. Did your clothes just get destroyed at some point? Hmm. I don't know. If we drop, um... If we put a little stockpile in here with some clothes, will they equip it? I wonder. It is interesting that we're just leaving the soda in here for them. Here. I'll put a... A grab here. I mean, it's not going to go bad, but we'll get it in our stockpile, so it's available. We've got another DP gun over here, which is pretty good. Yeah, we have this charge rifle, but not necessarily the ammo for it. Um, a good land field. I mean, it's normal quality, slightly damaged. Another normal quality, slightly damaged. Um, if I recall correctly, these had pretty good range, didn't they? Yeah, 75. I think they outranged the Lee Enfield. So, let's put a couple more people on the machine gun here. Um... Boom. Boom. Okay. Do a little bit of swap. We do make the ammo for it, so that should hopefully be okay. Mm, everyone's asleep. Wood's just wandering around here. Still a little worried about a prison break, now that there's two of them. 
replacing this with a steel auto door or something. I don't know if that would make a difference. I, I keep meaning to Google. Okay, now these are proper visitors. Um, keep meaning to Google the prison break mechanics to see what you can uh, sort of tweak. You know, health conditions, hypersensitive, sedentary. Those are not great. Careful shooter, lazy is not fantastic. But you're not the worst. You got some scars and things like that. That's not just slothful, no. Outdoorsy, too smart is pros and cons. You're volatile. But you got such good traits otherwise. Good passion for things. <sighs> Cataracts and stuff, no. I mean, I would like some more people, but are these people good enough? Outdoorsy, plant. You only have one passion. I mean, I suppose you could do it. You can end up doing a lot of hauling. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and put you on a try to recruit. You're not the end of the world. Maybe we'll make some friends. We'll see how it goes. Giggle's doing some repairs. We did get that door replaced, which is nice. We got more repairs to do, and at some point the crematorium will get set up. When we get the crematorium, we may decide to pop open all the graves. Um, sometimes I keep the ones from, from previous colonists, but, you know, it's so close to the base and everything like that. I think we may just do that. Pop up in the graves, deconstruct them, and then just cremate. Ah, new lovers! Newton and Wycrow! Yes! All right, now, while that, of course, can lead to disasters when one of them dies, in the meantime, there's good moodlets. People are going to be like, yeah, I got some loving. And it also lets people double up on beds, which is wonderful. Still waiting for another art piece to be done. I think, is Rebecca the artist? Yes. But Rebecca's a lot of things. Oh, we have a boomalope! We're going to try to tame a boomalope. This is so risky, but milking boomalopes has some value, right? Can you reload your weapon with armor-piercing bullets? Thanks. Excellent. Cloud watching. All right. Uh, so we did tame a boomalope. Now, so... This boomalope... Still did not get assigned to the barn. All right. No one in the comment that I've seen... Doesn't mean it wasn't there. No one in the comment that I've seen has... Uh, oh, this one didn't actually have the restrict to an area, so I don't know if it would work, but... Barn, ba barn, barn, barn. And yeah, you over here. Uh, oh, you're getting butchered. So the auto butchered flag is good. We'll put you in the barn. I'm a little bit worried about keeping the boomalopes around, but yeah, they can be milked. Uh, chemical fullness over here. Is it possible that only female boomalopes can be milked? Insert inappropriate jokes here. Um. But see with the uh, with the taming. What was that sound? That was weird. Um, maybe it's target counts. Maybe affects the taming. Here we'll do this. I don't know if this means that boomalopes might not get tamed if they exceed the count. The mufflows were still getting tamed, so maybe not. And yeah, the question will be, what do we do when we have excess mufflows? Well, I guess we can restrict them to the zone way over here and then just like shoot them. Yeah, I guess that might be the answer. Bum, 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 bum. Cargo pods. Ooh, what do we got this time? It's like Christmas come early. <gasps> it's coffee. Yeah, let's let's urgently haul that inside. We only need one person. Hold on. Um, cancel. Let me just quick recruit or er, reset everyone. Giggles, come over here. I'm gonna go prioritize haul because if I do that, you'll probably pick up all the bits, assuming you have capacity. Excellent. Wonderful. Because otherwise, I think it may have sent three people out here for each, one for each stack, depending on the timing of the job assignations. We just fed the dog some pickles. You know what? Most most pets like pickled things. A lot of cats love olives. Mmm. All right, training. Yeah, we got a 90% chance to train it by a tick every time, so that's going to be good. Nice to have the animal hauling skill go up. Oh, we finished the billiards table. Nice. Excellent. Well, that's going to help. We have a decent room. Wait until we get some art in here. It's even a little bit dirty, and it's still, it's still decent. Wonderful. So, I haven't seen any research for a while. Um, I think because... Newton, we did turn on your cooking for a while. We're going to go and turn that off now. Constructing is still on, but I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, we need light. There we go. up the doorway. So we have lots of extra bedrooms. We have at least three, because there's that one. Whoa, that was a weird pan all of a sudden. Yeah, so three free bedrooms, two people waiting to be recruited. Could potentially some relationships could break up, of course. That could also happen as well. And then we'll be happy to have the extra beds. And this room is decent. I guess we have excellent and good furniture. Yeah. It makes a big difference. We'll probably want to replace more and more things over time with the highest quality stuff, just because it does keep the moodlets so freaking high. 
So we'll have a little Abel, maybe, as a baby. If it's a boy, if it's a girl, I don't know. Abelina? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Eve needs treatment. I think she's got anxiety. That's probably what's going on there. We're having some bread. Our visitors are in here. Silver Dart. I mean, they are from different groups. Extreme Robbers. It's such a silly name. I love it. These robbers, they're not just regular robbers. They're extreme robbers. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right. Um, sorry, I just had to tab out for a second. My computer was doing something weird, but we're back. All right. So lots of critters. Still training some more hauling. That's very good. This blood from the butchering is pretty crazy, but I don't think it really affects some of the food quality. This area is a little dirty. Um, I'm gonna get you to prioritize cleaning the kitchen anyway there, Rebecca. Thank you very much, since you're here. Uh, White Crow, can I get you to prioritize cleaning some of this blood? Because it is, like, seriously detracting from the look of the room. And people do use this room a fair bit. I'm gonna get you to do one more there, buddy. And then you can go back to hanging out. Alright. Done, done, done. And yeah, the kitchen is clean. You got the tomatoes sitting there, and yeah, they don't spoil too quick. That is that is true, so that is a little bit of a time saver. I might want to put, like, one high-priority, like, critical meat storage right here, so it's a little closer as well, but I think it's going to be good enough. All right, you guys are having some chats together. That's very lovely. These guys should have a good stay. Hopefully, they'll leave me with a gift as well. How's this room? Uh, decent quality. Excellent that. Good. Excellent. Good. And these chairs are all really good, or these beds are all really good. Yeah, I think the biggest thing maybe holding this one back is just the size and how cluttered the room is. And we might get, like, a luxury suite thing going on at some point, but for now, this is pretty good. We've done a little bit of milking, which is nice. They're coming along, too. What is this? Oh, cornbread. Mmm, delicious. Room is nice and cool at minus four. Um, what I might want to do, now that we're approaching winter, and it'll be a good period to, like, bust open this fridge, I will want to get another cooler here, but we're still pretty low on components. This is going to continue to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, maybe putting this here, maybe putting it closer to the butcher table would be good. That's ah, not that far away. It's going to be fine. What is this? Anthurium. Interesting. Just some sort of plant, I guess. Some sort of flower, rather. Is what I meant to say. So we're still hoping to recruit these guys. I've got one person with the... Wood has got the, the wooden peg leg, which is kind of funny to me. Da, da, da. Actually, I don't know if the leg has a material. Here's our prosthetics vet workbench, which we had built because we thought wood might need it. As it is, we're going to be okay, but at least it's in place. I mean, at some point, I guess we'll replace it with a more advanced version, but it's going to be okay. Eve is still... Ooh, loving! Dun, dun, dun. And everyone's got helmets, which is really good. Really brings down the injuries. I mean, we've already got someone with a head wound. Nana over here, who's the um, observed rotting corpse. Oh, the corpses aren't buried up top. But, um... Oh, it's on the health, isn't it? Trauma savant, yeah. Old brain injury. Um... Maybe the corpse did get moved. Was it rotting in the uh, stockpile over here? Oh, yeah, it's probably got picked up. Moved to the stockpile over here. Yeah, right here. Because we don't have any of these left over. Hmm. And you need the components, and then... I just told you, be made out of granite blocks. So we've got that. It's just the components we don't have. Okay, let's go and make another set of graves just temporarily here. We'll go and fill that in. That's going to have to be okay. Um, why pro... Com oh, you don't construct. It's Giggles, I think, that constructs your hauling brother. But I'll get you to do this. Oh, Newton's doing it as well. Uh, Newton, could you uh, construct the torture? And haul Tau. Tau the torture. Ooh. For those of you who followed our uh, one of our D&D campaigns... That's, that's actually pretty apt. All right, there you go. We got the bodies hidden away, so... Some people will still have seen rotted corpses a debuff for a little bit, but right now we're okay. Mining more of that steel, which is fine. We actually got a good amount of steel stored up. But I still figured, oh, what the hell, we'll go ahead and do this. Now, of course, insects might show up. We were left stick bombs. Interesting! We might just sell them. I don't know, I assume they're, what, like, really, really low-end grenades? Maybe just sticks held together with tension? I wonder if we can get an info on this. Oh no! Fuse lit explosive. Favorable travels use these to fight technologically advanced enemies in heavy armor. Mm hmm. Done, done. Yeah, so I'm a little worried about bugs. Just leave one heater in here and leave it like super high temperature. Hey, we got a second boom lobe. Okay. What I'll probably do is I probably will at least build a regular door or two over here. 
just to sort of give us more time for the insects, because they, I mean, they will smash through things, but it'll give me a little bit more time to prepare for whatever nonsense might uh, come out of them. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mine that so we get it nice and square. Caravan request, five Norse shields, power armor helmet, and melee newer trainer mech serum. That is very tempting. That is fairly tempting. Five Norse shields? I don't know. We still have tons of stuff to do here. And it's not its not that fantastic. Power helmets are... I mean, they're pretty nice. But yeah, we'll, we'll not worry about it. So we're harvesting the hay here. I'm going to replant some of it as well. So we'll have lots of hay for our critters. And we got a full pile over here. And then the excess... Um, actually... the extra hay is going to get stored over here. All right, I guess that's fine. Ooh, Aurora, pretty stuff outside. Um, I don't think that gives a lasting buff, but I think while people are outside, they get a buff to, like, beauty because of the lovely, lovely Aurora. Adam and Rebecca. Look at he Everyone looks like soldiers now. They've got all the... Um, they got the shoulder pad, the tactical vest. Man, they're looking kind of badass, actually. Now, whether it makes sense for them to wear all that, I don't know, but it looks good. So, yeah, mine that out, and then we'll... Um, yeah, smooth, 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 like that, so it looks a little nicer. Before we're ending. Wow, that was kind of a dramatic lighting change all of a sudden. Oh, so cute! Now, I mean, hay doesn't um, decompose very quickly. Yeah, two years, that's while being left outside. Although, being unroofed, it will decay that way, like lose hit points. But yeah, rotting won't really happen. We may, you know, it might be a good idea. Is, let me copy the settings for this. We're going to build a new stockpile zone right here. Oh, yeah, it still won't be roofed. Never mind, never mind. I'm going to save for hay. I guess I could just store more hay in here. Yeah, why not? There. Something like that. So that'll be the silage and the kibble. These are flagged as important. We do also have a critical one over here. So some hay is always available to be turned into silage or kibble. Kind of a first priority. Maybe, maybe not that makes sense. I don't know. But we're going to do that anyway. Should, if we get a food emergency, I was, can always cancel that food zone. And then we can transfer the hay into the, um, into the barn again. And that wouldn't be too shabby. All right. A little moment of peace. This is nice. Why did I say that? We're about to get attacked by something terrible now. Or everyone's going to get the plague or something like that. Um, for negotiate or for wardening, we do have to enable for two people. Well, okay, pretty low end over there. I think this is mostly just so I can right click a wardening task. Basically, it's just Eve. She's the only one with a uh, social passion here. Um, dirty cooking area. Damn it. Resistance is dropping. It's probably from before because it's relatively clean now. Oh, there we go. Things are being fermented. Excellent. Progress is continuing. Temperature is good in there. A new election is being held. Giggles is running for mayor. Now, is Giggles the only person running, or is Newton, the current mayor, like, implied to be running again? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just going to be Giggles. Who doesn't want Mayor Giggles? Give him a go. Give Giggles a go. Oh, this lag when panning around. Panning around while things are selected, it looks like. Seems to be the thing. Nana's going... Oh, she's a pyromaniac. So, she's going on a fire-starting spree. Okay. We may just have to, like, recruit and unrecruit people real quick so that they remember to do their jobs. Oh! I think there was a wall light there that burned away. Okay, that is slightly different. These wall lights. It's definitely a lot darker now. A little more fire. Reset you. Well, that wall light's fine. Maybe, maybe the other one just burned really fast? Okay. Spree spree's over? Yeah, excellent. Okay, all the fire's gone, everything is good, there's a little bit of dirt around, might be nice to do another big cleaning thing. She's feeling stressed. Oh yeah, she's got food poisoning. That's not gonna help. Oh, poor Nana, an intense pain. Plus a bunch of old wounds. Maybe we can do something for you. I think with glitter medicine, when we get to that point, um, I think we can get... Um, 
Scar removal. I think that's one of the mods I have in here. All right, it's taking her forever to eat. You still have food poisoning. Are you sure you want to be eating? Last thing I want to do. Oh, you don't clean. This whole time I've been waiting. Let's clean this place. That's really messy. And the blood. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Good, good, good. Then you're going to go back to resting. That's fine. Um, so... Construct mine art. Now I'll leave the cooking on for Rebecca. I mean, she's not terribly good at it. But I think it's it's helping us keep pace with various things. And hoping for a few more passion people. Oh yeah, that was left on just to make uh, life a little faster. Although, um, oh yeah, I want to auto-door you. But again, we don't have the components for it. There's a fair amount of dirt all over the place. It might be worth doing a big round of cleaning. Uh, and you don't clean. Wear a leather duster. You move real slow right now with the food poisoning. You're just going to change your clothes, which is fine. We do have some advanced components, but that's it. Um, a research multi-analyzer. Yeah, I think we're doing the multi-analyzer because... Oh, are we really low on power? Well, we have one solar panel missing, and it's not windy right now. So that's not helping things. Giggles, uh, and you don't have components to fix that. Right, no, of course you don't. And... We do have some components over here. I could force Rebecca to come out here and mine that. I feel like... Yeah, we'll haul urgently that. Not that it's going to save much time for various things, but it's sort of annoying me a little bit. If we cancel the mining over here, which might not be a shabby idea. Um, oh, visitor relationships. And we got to put a cut in here. I'm going to cancel this for now. Is it... Uh, yeah, it's our mother again! Right over here, Sari. How are you feeling? Doesn't like enough of us to be recruited. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of that. A lot of people are already set to be recruited. How about you? Green, nimble, cannibal, slothful, psychopath. It seems a little dangerous. You're okay, but do I already have you flagged to be recruited? No? No health injuries? Nope. There. I mean, we'll give him a try, because why not? He totally a misogynist. It's really not ideal. But... We'll flick the, the thing on anyway and see what happens. Kind, lazy is not great. You only have one passion. I mean, you could haul, I guess. No, we have too many people flagged for that anyway. All right, we'll put a cut in here. Folks, thanks for watching another episode. Uh, that went to K out there. Okay, good. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.